Meanwhile, the Minister of Power, Chiva De Bayo Adelabu, has attributed the inconsistent electricity supply in the country to the action of operators. Chief Adebayo made the assertion on Tuesday while addressing stakeholders at an interactive dialogue organized by the House of Representatives Committee on Power. The minister expressed his approval of Nigeria's transition to a multi-tier electricity market, considering it is a positive step moving forward. He emphasized the necessity for the parliamentary intervention to facilitate the desired transformation. Correspondent Grace Ike reports. Despite the various intervention programs and projects instituted by the federal government over the past years, power generation and supply have not witnessed any significant improvement. This has affected consumers in the country, leaving them at the mercy of alternative source of power generation. Again, the parliament has organized a stakeholders conference to brainstorm on the way forward. The Chairman House Committee on Power, Honorable Victor Mwokolo, said the importance of the legislature in providing legislative support cannot be overemphasized. It has become necessary for stakeholders to address the envisaged challenges, which is thrown by challenges facing NICE, and to chart a course for seamless transition to a multi tier electricity market in Nigeria. We want to find out from NEC which band I belong. Because I'm in Apo, and somebody came and told me that we are in band A. And I know I don't get 20 hours of power. Minister of Power Chief Adebayo Adelabu blamed operators for the epileptic power supply in the country. He is optimistic that the migration to a multi tier electricity market will go a long way to expedite national development. The short term it is that we have the power sector is actually the direct responsibility of the operators while the regulators and the ministry are supposed to compel them to optimal performance. According to the minister, the huge debt in the sector, saboteurs and cartels remains a concern that must be addressed. Preponderance of our power output is from gas-fired plants, about 75 percent. What to five percent comes from the hydroelectric power plant. So gas segment is very key in terms of the quality of gas, in terms of the quantity of gas, in terms of the pipeline and the gas operators. The group managing director of Sahara Power Group, Mr. Kola Adeshino, spoke passionately on grey areas affecting the sector as operators. He called for the support for the likes of Professor Bat Onaji, Chairman Geometric Power Limited. If the industries are working, employment is created. If the industries are working, GDP is growing. If the industries are working, all of us ultimately will benefit from those industries. Tax will be hand and the rest of them. Let's start with industries. Let's now say, every evening in residential areas, people's homes must be electrified. Industrial activity typically takes place during the day. So at night, can we shift power to residential areas? And over time, graduated approach will begin to see how electricity can truly become accessible to all. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, is optimistic that the migration process will ensure enhanced efficiency and improved service delivery across board. The government's objective is clear, to foster a resilient, efficient and sustainable power sector capable of supporting our nation's ambitious economic and development goal. It is hoped that this gathering will go beyond the everyday dialogue to translate into results that will sustain generation and distribution to households, businesses and industries in Nigeria. From Abuja, Grace Ike, ADBN News.